All right, everybody, this is day two on our strength and condition phase to get ready for outdoor track season. We're gonna to start today off with a dumbbell deadlift. So dumbbell deadlift, set it up just like you would a deadlift, hinging at the hips, big chest, till the dumbbell hits the floor. Okay, this is just a warm up to get the legs moving, good form always. Okay, once the dumbbell hits the floor, that's your, that's your sign to come back up. You should choose a weight that's challenging but not overwhelming for you. All right, next up, single leg glute bridges. Just like in day one when we did double legs, this is single leg. So don't really care what you do with your other leg, but the leg that stays on the ground close to the bum, we're trying to create a line, a plane from the knee to the hip to the shoulder. If you don't use your hands, it adds another challenge, okay? Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. And you'll do both legs. Once you're done with the sit, you switch legs. Just really work that top. Squeeze at the top. Trying to create a, a line in a plane from your knee to your hip to your shoulder every time. All right, next up, we'll move from there into deadlifts. Okay? Deadlifts, we're going to use the the trap bar or the hex bar, okay? You're gonna step into it. Again, uh, feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Knees point just a little bit outwards, maybe about 10 degrees. You're gonna have a big chest, okay? And then you're gonna hinge at the hips as the butt sinks and goes back. As you lift off the ground, come to a vertical position, big chest, butt goes back first, driving through the feet. If you wanna do this barefoot, even better. Some of the key things to look out for are those knees collapsing in or are you coming forward with the chest and rounding the back. Flat back, big chest, knees pushing out. Those are your deadlifts. From the deadlift, we're going to go into a single leg RDL. With the single leg RDL, you grab a pair of dumbbells. We'll have one leg planted on the ground, and this is the RDL. So imagine this is a barbell, but it's two dumbbells. And you're gonna go slide down the leg till you feel a stretch, and come back up. Just kind of hinging at the hip, engaging the, the posterior chain, and really getting the hamstring to do a lot of this work. And that's a single leg RDL. All right. From the single, and you want to do both legs is equals one set once you do both legs. Inverted row, okay? Inverted row, you're going to come over to the, the squat rack and you're going to have a, a barbell set up. You're going to come in underneath, and I'd like to see you have your hands uh, away from you, not towards you. So you're going to set up your hands away from you in a pull up position. And you're gonna pull your chest towards the bar. You're gonna set up a plank so you're nice and flat. Chest towards the bar and down. Those are your in, uh, what do I have in this? Inverted rows. Okay. Next, after inverted rows, you're gonna to move to Calf raises and anterior tib raise. Calf raises, we'll do as a two foot action. Dropping the heel, controlling the motion. Trying not to get too much leverage on however you're balancing. Then from there, your rest, your rest of calf raises, it's gonna be anterior tib raises. You're gonna go to the other side and just lead up with the big toe. Lead up with the big toe. Touch the feet to the ground. Nice and controlled. If these calf raises are too easy for you, you can always grab a pair of dumbbells, stick them on your shoulders, and then proceed with the, the calf raises. A little bit extra resistance if you add dumbbells. Okay. From there, 
we go into the abs section where we're gonna do partner leg throws. I don't have a partner today, but I'll demonstrate without a partner. You will have your partner's feet right at your head. You're gonna hold on to their, uh, the back of their heels. You're gonna lift your legs up and they're gonna toss them down and you're gonna stop them from hitting the floor. And they'll push them down. I want the, your partner to push them as hard as they can and your job is to stop the, your legs from hitting the ground. Don't let your heels hit. Right after your, um, after you go, you go right into a minute of flutter kicks on your back. R immediately after the third set. So you're gonna go through it three times at the, right at the end of the third set, you're gonna go immediately into your flutter kicks. And that's day two. Good form on all the exercises. Let's get strong. Get after it.